Good morning. Happy day after Halloween. Everybody strung out on candy. Good morning. This is an unplanned visit, but I'm making another one of these booze. And I thought I would go ahead and show you how I did it. So you could join me and we could take a look at it. So last year I went to Hobby Lobby. Uh, after each holiday, you know, everything goes 70% off, 90% off. Hi, Jen. And um, I went to Happy Lobby and went ahead and bought a few Halloween things. So while I was digging through the bin to decorate a couple weeks ago, I found these wooden letters. They were a set of the set, and it says they were only $6.99. So if I know me, I probably got them for $2. Hey, girl. How, how are you feeling? Did you have fun for um, Halloween? Did Kira have a good time trick-or-treating? So um, I had been wanting to do this craft and wanting to do it, and I just never got around to it with the kids because I had so many costumes to be made. So I saved it, and we did it the day of Halloween. Um, and so after the kids came home, we did this craft, and we also did this craft that I got at Joann's for um, like two dollars. I forget how much it was listed for, but they were 70% off. And I just had some jars from the, I had a mason jar and then two jars for, from the dollar store. And then it just comes with the glue and the muslin and all that stuff. And um, the thing is, we made it yesterday, and then last night the glow it had glow plane in it to do the face so that it glows like this and didn't glow so i'm thinking they were like left over from the previous year or something so i might have to either go back with glow paint or go back with just regular paints and and fix it because the kids were like bombs it did come with the tea lights though which was nice so it had everything in it except for the jar and um sam loved it he didn't like getting glue on him so i did the glue and then he wrapped it so that was a good little craft um, what I do is I get them on sale and then I throw everything in the bin for Halloween decorations. So then the next year when we put the decorations out, we have everything in there. I also keep, you're going to think this is cheesy, but I also keep um, the paper plates and napkins and straws. I put them in Ziploc bags and I put those in there and reuse them the following year. I keep all of the leftover like little yo-yos and necklaces and things like that that were left over from the packages because you know you have 24 kids in class so you, if you make goodie bags you have to buy two sets of 20 because they either come in 18 or 20 so I keep all that stuff and then I use it for the following year so I don't have to buy as much I also take like my decoration like these are like scrapbooking supplies stickers and things that I didn't use for doing Halloween cards or decorations and I keep them in a little container in the actual bin with the decorations so everything is together so when i pull it out i have everything i need for that year all in one container and with my fabric i have a specific bin for halloween fabric so when i do my halloween pillows and the different towel kitchen towels it's all together so let's do the craft yes they had a great time we met up with jackson and their family down the street and we have a fantastic neighborhood our neighborhood closes off and um Along the way, we got cocktails and chili and bottled waters and all kinds of fun things from neighbors as we walked. So we only did two streets and had a great time. Hi, Christine. So I did a couple of the steps already. Um, I let the kids paint them. And then my OCD, I go back and touch them, touch them up. I fill in all the blanks and make them look nice and clean. So they're painted. And you could do these all black with like spider webs and polka dots and things like that. Oh. Yes, you should come to trick or treat here next time. Hi, Marissa. Good morning. Your Mickey ears are still here. Your Mickey ears are still here. Um, so this go round, I had a second set. I'm going to give as a gift, probably to my mom, and um, her birthday's tomorrow. Happy birthday, mom! Um, and so painted them orange, green, and black. Okay, so you just paint them first, let them dry. Then you take your scrapbooking paper, and you can get this by the sheet at the store, Hobby Lobby or one of those stores, um, and you can wait till it's a 50% off week. But I actually go um, every couple years or so and buy a pack of paper. You're, they're usually like $19.99 for, or $29.99 for the big pack of scrapbooking paper, and then use my 40% off coupon or wait till their scrapbooking supplies are 50% off. And I get the one that has a couple sheets for each holiday. 
okay? And that way I can use it for cards or paper scraps. This is what Zoe used for Girl Scouts to decorate um, poster boards to take down to the Ronald McDonald House. I gave her all these scrapbooking supplies and she decorated poster boards to hang up and decorate the Ronald McDonald House. So these are the leftover scraps. And I genuinely, when I say leftover scraps, like I used where she had cut out letters, I used this part to do these pumpkins. So all you do is lay it on the paper and trace it. And when you cut it out, you want to cut it out just a little bit smaller than the pumpkin so it doesn't hang over the edge. Like just a little smaller than your line. Cut on the inside of your line. Then you're going to use your Mod Podge. Okay. Sorry, I have my bright light on. And you want to paint the Mod Podge not on the wood. You want to actually do it on the paper because the paper is fibrous. And so as you wet it, it kind of, you know, you see when you get glue on it, it's it kind of flimsy and it kind of stretches a little. And if you do it on here and then put it on and the paper kind of stretches a little, it'll create wrinkles. So you put it on the paper and then once it, and I actually let it sit for a second to kind of get all loosey goosey. And then you stick it onto your piece and you put it on. Then you're going to take the Mod Podge and we're going to go ahead and do this one and you paint over it. And you can do this different ways. Um, um, hi, Liza. You can do this different ways. You could actually, um, some people like to get sandpaper at this point and sand the edges and make it kind of rough to give it that little rustic look. But um, I saw something yesterday. I watch all day long while I'm sewing, I watch YouTube videos. I just type in whatever. Yesterday it was eyeglass cases. And I watched 60,000 videos on how to make eyeglass cases till I kind of put together my own way of doing it. And that's the same with this craft. I just went on YouTube and was like, decoupage letters, Halloween, and then just watched the different ways they did it. And this one lady, instead of sanding it, because I didn't want to, honestly, I didn't want to walk all the way down to the basement and find sandpaper that would work. And I didn't want to come up here and sand and make a big mess. Um, so she did it with paint and it still looks like it's, um, like got that rough edge around it. And I thought, that's cute. I'm gonna do it that way. And it, this was just like, paint it real quick, go downstairs, make the kids a snack, come back, do another little five minute step, go downstairs and stop them from beating each other up. You know, no, give your sister the iPad. You know how that is. Anyway, if you have siblings, you understand. So I decoupage that and let it dry. So now I've got it on the top and make sure when you do it, you go around the edges because you don't want the paper to peel up. So I kind of just go like this around the edge and then back down. So I know that glue is around the edge like that. See how that flipped up? You want to make sure that that doesn't happen. So you want to glue it down, make sure there's glue under it, around it. If you have a little piece that's kind of overlapping, you can use like a pair of scissors or you can use an X-Acto knife, which is what I'm about to do, and just cut that off. And it comes right off. Okay, and you just make sure you glue it back down. Okay, then this one has already been done on both sides and is dry. So all you're going to do, I thought this was really cool, is um, I use the lids from my stabilizer as my little dipping pan, is you're going to put some paint, black paint, and I know these are painted different colors, but even the black paint, let's see, let's show you. Even the black paint made it look like it was, was ripped a little. I first did it with green, and I was like, no, that looks stupid. And then I went with back with black, and I like the black. So you dry brush, dry brush, and you take dip the paint, and you kind of dab it off. You get a little tiny bit, and you dab it off so there's not a lot on there, okay? Not a lot, so it's nice and dry. And then working from the outside in, you kind of just brush that corner. You just brush in like that. If you get too much, you just kind of, don't be afraid to get your fingers dirty. You will be filthy, right? So you just kind of brush it in like that. And it gives the appearance that the edge is ripped a little. And it's got that shadowing. And that's what you do around the edge. It takes like two seconds. Boom, about to be done. Going around, now on the B, you got to make sure you do the inside bit of the letter of the holes too. dip, dab it off, make sure it's like as dry as it can be. And you make sure you go inward. And you could do longer ones if you wanted it to look more 
ripped. And at this point, you can also make sure that your paint is everywhere. Like sometimes you miss a little spot and you don't notice it till it's until it's dry. I think it is cute, isn't it? Okay, so you just do like that and see now it looks like the other one. See? And see, I messed up a little on this one. I got a little too much right, a little too much where right here. That doesn't really matter. I think it still looks cute. And so, like I said, with this one, I did orange first. So it looks kind of like the paper's ripped a little bit right here. And then did black over it. Um, I wanted to wait till this is this is dry before I do another one. So I I am not gonna do it yet because this one's still wet where I just painted it. But these other ones are done, and this is how they look. You could put them in whatever order, but I kind of like the bright one in the middle. Don't you? I like the bright one in the middle. Every time I start talking a whole lot, like my nose gets all itchy and weird. I feel like I touch my face a lot when I watch it. Okay, another thing, when I got these, the middle one had a sticker on it. And it was one of those ones you ever hate when you have that sticker and you're like, er, 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 you can't come off and it's like all ripped. Well, you don't want that to be on there because you're going to be able to see the back. So um, you just take a, and you can see right here where it's on there. See, I'm going to go back over that with some more orange on the back of this. And um, just take a lighter and just light it. I keep one in here all the time because I also have to do my ribbons. I keep a little lighter. You just go shh, heat it up and it makes the adhesive sticky and then you peel it off. You can do that for presents too. Like Christmas time comes around, you just do that and peel it off and then um, it's clear and doesn't happen. That one just, I heated up a bit too much so the adhesive got really sticky and that's why it kept that square there. So I'm going to pick, when I go to decoupage, you want to pick this side like this side's darker and prettier, so this side I'm going to decoupage to put the paper on. And you just paint, brush it on. Oh, and I'm doing it backwards. See, I'm brushing it on the wrong thing. Remember what I said. I said you want to do it on the piece of paper. And that's not going to matter. I mean, I'm just going to do it on the paper, then go back and put it on top of there. I'll just borrow some that I put on that pumpkin. Just going to brush it on the paper and let it sit. So what did you guys do for Halloween? Did you trick or treat? Did you go to trunk or treats? I know Sam's Taekwondo studio, they had like a whole activity that they could do. I'm just curious what you guys did for Halloween. I would love to, uh, to hear, you know what? I think maybe I haven't given a prize away in a while. So you guys comment, comment what you did for Halloween, what your kids dressed up as. And I will collect all the people who comment on this video. And tomorrow I'll give away a Thanksgiving prize. I'll give away a fall decor piece. How's that sound? Cause I'm about to make some really cute fall decor banners. And, um, I got these from, I'll show you. They're right here, I think. Yep. I went to the dollar spot at Target. My family always does handmade gifts for Christmas. We would rather, other than a gift card or something from the store, we would rather give each other something that we made. And my older sister's very talented. She uh, makes jewelry. Um, you probably know her. I'm going to get this pumpkin. I put the glue all over it. You see how it's all loosey-goosey floppy now? And I'm setting it on there. I'm going to line it up and make sure that it's not going over the edge. And if it is, I'm going to use this X-Acto knife to cut it off. So there. I'm going to slide it over a little bit. Make sure there's no wrinkles. And after I show you these fall things, then I'll see that's on there. I'll decoupage the top of it. Let that sit for a second. So I got these. They were in the dollar spot. They're wooden. They're like I guess they're more like fiberboard, but they're hard. Little banner. How cute is that? You could put like thanks on there. It's got like a rose gold piece of vinyl down the middle. Three bucks. Three bucks for that thing. I got that one. A gold banner. Sparkly gold one. And I don't know how many. Um, it's like 72 inches in length, but it doesn't tell you like how many pieces there are in it. Oh, I guess you could count them. Three, seven. So you could do thanks. And then this is a little burlap one. A little burlap one. And then this is wood too. See, like real hard wood. I mean, how cute is that? Three bucks a piece. Were these all three? They were. Three dollars. I got, it looks like I got. 
and then I got some um, kind of fall scrapbooking paper, $3 a piece. My sister loves to do cards and stuff, so I thought even if I don't use it, one is glitter paper. This one's glitter paper, and this one's like apples and leaves. So I thought if I found some more letters, I could do decoupage using these or make cards. And then let's see what I found in this. These are in the dollar spot, too. These would just be cute gifts to give. Wooden sign, cut, thankful, three bucks. Put that on them. I think I'm going to put that on my mantle and then put some other handmade stuff around it. And then this one, cozy blankets. Now, a lot of, and this is just painted on there or it's just like a whole vinyl piece. And if I don't love it, so a lot of what they do on YouTube is they actually paint over these and then redo them. So they use the wood and they just paint, like do a whitewash over it, cover it up, and then they do their own design on the front. And I've seen some really cute ones. So I don't really love this and it has some chips in it, but for $3, I don't have to cut a piece of wood or anything. I could just paint this and then I could put vinyl. I could put, I could turn it this way, put thanks, welcome, blessed, whatever I want to put. And then you could even um, glue on some like little leaves or different things to it. And um, I put a burlap bow across the top and just make it cute as could be, cute as could be. So I've been watching too much YouTube. I think I have one more. I do. And this one. So like this. You could do gather together on that other one, but instead of the painted leaves, you could do actual leaves like attached to it. Um, so I thought that was cute. So these are all three bucks a piece. So I'm going to do crafts with those and then give them away as gifts or do things like a set that goes together. Um, and I'm also making pillows and eyeglass cases. I made one of those yesterday. This one, I didn't love the pattern. Um, I, I like the fabric. These are scraps. And, but it was the pattern the girl used, I think was just like an inch too wide. It was for like sunglasses, like sunglasses. And I, I think I'd rather it be like an inch smaller so that your glasses go in and stay snug in there. I wouldn't want to pick it up the wrong way and the glasses fly out. And that's kind of how it did when I put my sunglasses in it. So I saw it, uh, three more videos after I made this. But I mean, I think it took me seven minutes to make this thing. That's it. So I thought, well, that's a good fast little gift. And there's different ones you can make with buttons and snaps and all that. But I think I just want it to be simple um, and do it in some kind of fabric that might correspond with other things. I, like I made my mom a purse, might make her the, use the leftover fabric and make the eyeglass case or a zipper pouch. Those are fairly easy to make as well. So um, you've seen the little boo. I think it turned out really cute. I think this would be a cute gift. You could grab letters from the Dollar Tree um, or Hobby Lobby, Michaels. A lot of times they have them on sale. And I'm just putting Mod Podge back on the top of the paper that I had already put on. And um, you can just paint them. You can decoupage them. You see how simple it is? You don't have to have Mod Podge, to be honest. You could use Elmer's glue. I mean, it's not rocket science. I think Mod Podge is a better quality, but... I mean, I've used regular glue before. Mm. You kind of want it to be ripped to, on the edges anyway, so why not, right? Um, so what I'm going to do is finish these just in time to pack them up and get the Thanksgiving decorations out. So you guys comment again what you guys did for Halloween. And um, comment what your favorite thing is about fall. What's your favorite thing about fall? And those people who comment on this video, I'm going to give them a free fall craft. Probably one of these cute little banners. I'll make you a banner, and you get that as a gift from me just for following and liking my page. Um, and I think that that would be a nice little thank you to give you guys. I'll be making them anyway. Might as well give them away to the people I... I hang out with on a daily basis, right? So I've got that one on. Once these decoupage letters dry, like this one, I'm going to, um, like I did a few minutes ago, I'm just going to dip it in this black paint and make sure it's nice and dry and just, boom, brush it in. Brush it in. It gives it that little depth. You see the difference between what was done and what was not done? See that? It just makes it look, and this keeps you from having to do the sanding of the paper around the edge and do any touch-ups. This is just simple. And, you know, the best part about it is you're like, ooh, I went in too far. Grab a tissue real quick. Wipe it off. 
wipe it off and you could fix it. And that's how easy it is. I think this craft, if the time was put together in one, it would probably take about 30 minutes to make. But I really did it in five minute increments and then would let it go dry and go do something else and come back. And um, and then that was it. So all I have left is to do this last little this last little orange pumpkin. And then I've got my boo made. So that was fun. We got to craft together today. So I really appreciate you coming and visiting with me today. Uh, tell your friends, share this video so other people can see how to do it. There's um, no games, no gimmicks. I'm not trying to give you anything or sell you anything. I just like to craft and I like to share it. And I love to give free presents away. That's like my favorite thing to do is to give gifts to friends who I love. So I hope you guys have a fantastic day and go out there and make something today. It's a rainy day. You don't need to go anywhere. Find some crafts, make something, right? Do redo some flower decorations in your house or just move some paintings around. Do something creative and fun that makes you feel happy. All right. Or go dance to some music. That always makes me feel happy. So have a great day. I love you guys so much. And remember, always have fun and stay crafty. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.